Hey everybody, um, been watching YouTube and you know this truck, this uh, Cummins diesel overheats, um, not not significantly, but enough. And um, it passed the head gasket test. Now I'm thinking, you know, in the turbo generates an awful lot of pressure. These things, I don't know how high they're supposed to go, but it's something like 15, 20, 25 PSI of boost pressure. And um, so I'm, you know, watched a lot of YouTube videos and this is the setup that everybody recommends. You have a compressed air source, a regulator, a gauge and a regulator so you can tweak it. You don't want to go up past about 20 pounds. This is an ABS three inch pipe cap. Now in the pipe world, three inch is the inside diameter. It happens that the outside diameter is four inches, which is the same as the intake of the turbo, four inches. This is a silicone four inch coupler that I got at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. And um, it's not really wide enough. It'd be nicer if it was a lot wider to, to bite on the plastic better. Um, I'm not gonna take it apart, but I machined a groove on the lathe in this plastic underneath here because this thing kept sliding out. I know one guy used uh, hairspray because it's real sticky and that was a good idea. But uh, you know, you use the tools you got in front of you. So anyway, I already pressurized it and um, there's a bunch of leaks, so I wanna show them to you. This thing just turned over 180,000 miles, and this is a 93 uh, Cummins. So here's what we'll do. I'm gonna turn it up. I'm only going, I only go to about 10 pounds. Um, Cause I'm not so sure that this won't come apart. Now you're gonna hear a leak, but it's going into the engine and through the valves. Now somebody said if you turn it to top dead center, it won't do that, but that's not true because not all the cylinders are at top dead center. So anyway, um, you're supposed to take the intake off this thing right here and plug it, but my leaks are so significant at only 10 PSI that I'm just going to stop there. So, okay, here we go. Let's see if I can... There was several really good leaks here. Now what I'm spraying on there is Windex. Let's see if I can cast a shadow on there. See it leaking? If that was 20 or 30 PSI, I think it'd be puking like crazy, but that's a leak. There's another leak here, a very telling one right here in the middle of the boot actually it's on the boot mold seam but it's leaking right so this thing's leaking around that joint it's even leaking on this joint here too now you got to give the windex a minute to settle down but once you spray it on it bubbles really good i mean you're you could use soapy water too if you have it i just didn't i ran out of liquid soap washing my hands all the damn time but this is like i said Take a look at that gauge, man. I mean, I know it's at the bottom end of its range, but it's only somewhere in the 10 PSI range. And that's just one coupler. Um, I don't know if this one leaked. I don't think this one leaked. I wish that hissing didn't happen because I'd really like to check out the... Um, hear it leaking so that one's okay but that one is not that coupler is shot and it's remember 10 psi and it's leaking that bad um this one was leaking pretty bad too look at that look at that that is a leak now where i live up here is uh 3500 feet in altitude and the truck's mileage is only 15 16 17 and it no matter how slow i drove 65 on the freeway didn't help it yeah, look at that man holy cow um let's see if i can get this one in the picture Uh, okay, maybe 
not. Maybe that one's not leaking. That would be good. Do you remember something? They're all the same freaking age. Now this one, I could probably tighten that and stop it, right? Um, almost guaranteed I could tighten that and stop it. But that other one over here is leaking, um, it's leaking in the middle of the boot. And, um, oh wait, right here, right in the middle of the boot. Look at that. See that? Right here and right there. Those are in the middle of the boot. So, you know, you triple the pressure and, you know, those are going to turn into a gushers. Now, granted, they're not cracks, they're not like huge leaks, but this is stone cold. This engine hasn't been started in a couple days. So you heat it all up, everything gets softer, it's gonna leak even worse. Okay, so that coupler's leaking through the rubber. The other one is, that's two. And I think there's, what, four total. Yeah, there's four total, and two of them are leaking like a sieve. So, that means we have a failure. Which is good news. I mean, I you know, you don't want stuff to go bad, but the problem is you've got, um, Man, this thing gets gets that together on the focus department here. Anyway, um, okay, the pressure's come down a little bit, but yeah, it don't make any difference. This thing's leaking like a sieve. So that's two of them. Now the other thing you should leak check, of course, is your own setup. Now it'll bleed some pressure off, but it won't. Um, cause much of a pressure drop. Yeah, see it's not leaking now. I don't know if I could turn it up any higher if, it's, if it would start leaking or pop off. So just start easy, you know, 10 pounds, whatever. Because um, the compressor is putting out, at the end of this hose, it's like 90 pounds here. So you got to have a regulator and a gauge. And then the other thing I learned is you see this uh, pipe plug? This thing right here, um, the pipe nipple was originally screwed in there, but it, it hits the alternator. So I had to re-drill it and plug that and sit it off to the side. So when you make your own, just do it offset, clear off to one side, and it'll clear the alternator nicely. Um, this is a tiny regulator. Got it at uh, Home Depot, box store, go wherever you need to go. Um, I think it was 20-something bucks. Um, I mean, you know... You can do it cheaper. I just need to get it done because this truck ain't running right. And running hot all the time is not okay. These things will last a long time if you take care of them. And if you don't, they don't last a long time. So anyway, that's uh, that's what we got done today. Um, let's see, what else could we check? I can't, because it's leaking air right here and through the valves and into the exhaust, I can't really... You know, I can't really get it into the um, intercooler, so too bad. Uh, you know, getting a good set of uh, four-inch hose clamps is actually not easy. These these came with that um, silicone coupler, and they're crap. So I had to go buy new ones. So. Get yourself a good coupler and set up and then and your regulator and stuff and then hang it, uh, you know, hang it in your shop somewhere. Because you might have to do this again someday or do it for a friend. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I could tighten that one. But we got, we got that boot, that boot leaks and I got another boot leaks. That's two out of four. And they all are the same exact age. Okay, so I'm letting, releasing the pressure. So, um, I wish it didn't hiss, but the, what, the, what the guy said to do is you disconnect here, put a plug in there, usually a, a, you know like an ABS pipe plug, and then you can pressurize the whole system and no air will leak into the engine, it'll stop that hissing. Um, so I was thinking about doing that. When I get, I'm going to order new couplers, and then I'll plug this and then retest it. Um, I suppose I could do it now, but if the if the intercooler's bad, 
you know, tough shit. I don't even know if you can buy one these days. They're aluminum. And, um, I don't even know if you can see it down there. No, you can't. So I won't waste my time. But anyway, that's it. The test is complete. I'm thrilled. It took me all day to get all these parts. Um, and part of yesterday, living out here in the sticks, it's 90 miles round trip to freaking Home Depot. So, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you guys, uh, you can do it. Um, it's a great test. It's worthy. This engine's not that old. 180,000 isn't, you know, a ton of miles, but this rubber goes through a lot of, a lot of heat cycles, a lot of expansion and contraction. And up at altitude, I'm losing horsepower, which means I'm losing torque, which means I'm losing gas mileage. So I'm going to get this all sealed up and then see if, um, you know, if it helps over time. Cause that's only 10 PSI. If I, if everything was perfect here, I'd, I'd bump it to 30, but I think that thing's going to explode at 30 and it's already leaking bad enough at 10. It told me all I needed to know. All right. Enough rambling. See you. Bye.